हेलो लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन वेलकम बैक टू एक्सोटिक एस्ट्रोलॉजी एंड विश यू अ वेरी 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 हैप्पी दिवाली फेस्टिवल वंस अगेन टुडे इज फाइनली सेवेंथ एंड इट्स दिवाली टाइम इन इंडिया एंड सम पार्ट्स ऑफ यूरोप अमेरिका एंड जर्मनी आल्सो सो वी विल सेलिब्रेट दिस फेस्टिवल ऑफ लाइट्स व्हिच मार्क्स द कमिंग ऑफ लॉर्ड राम इनटू द होली सिटी ऑफ अयोध्या वंस अगेन आफ्टर spending long 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 years in exile okay so let us pray to him that he blesses us with all fortune good prosperity and spiritual wisdom so that we can connect back to him the way the citizens of ayodhya had connected back to him all right so i had made a video on how it, diwali is related to astrology and sun moon so if you have not watched it then please go and watch it i'll put the link in the description okay and if you are new to the channel and if you have not yet subscribed then please subscribe to it and if you want a consultation regarding november or december <laughs> because this video is on november horoscope what's going to happen and how are the energies shifting because there are major shifts which are happening and which have already happened okay then you can go to my website to book a reading you will find the link to my website in the description section of my videos below and before i begin as i always say god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him in the day of diwali all right so now what's happening is november has started and on 6th november mars has finally 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 entered the zodiac sign of aquarius it has left its exaltation which is in the sign of capricorn of course and the conjunction of mars and ketu which was there from oh my god last 6 months is not there anymore so that's the predicament that you have a planet which is exalted in transit so whenever a planet gets exalted in transit whichever houses that planet rules we start feeling very positive about those houses or those things become very lively in our life especially if an exalted planet is transiting in your kendra okay so that means for the movable ascendants aries cancer libra and capricorn your mars was transiting in the kendra houses all right so if you were any of these four ascendants as i said then you would have felt the energy of mars very strongly in your chart depending on the houses whichever mars was ruling in in your in your rules in your chart depending on your ascendant of course but the problem is mars was with ketu it was not alone so it's like saying that i am very positive and i want to do things and when i go to do things i see that there is confusion because whenever a planet in transit conjoins either rahu or ketu i would say more of ketu rather than rahu whenever a planet in transit joins rahu or ketu then what what happens in my opinion is i have seen that if it's with rahu then it's like it's it's like saying there's too much of it and when this and when this ketu conjunct that planet it's like saying there's too much of it but we don't know what to do so it's like saying there's something in your head bogging you always i want to do this i want to do this i want to do this but then you don't know what to do that's the area where we get frustrated you see so when an exalted planet is getting conjunct rahu and ketu that increases the challenge multiple times that we feel like we will take action and we go for it but then suddenly things are like it's not the way we expected so the frustration is 10 times more rahu and ketu are karakas for frustration so from the last 6 months especially for these four ascendants we would have realized that there was too much frustration pertaining to the areas which mars was ruling in our chart okay and depending on where mars was transiting we would have felt that the results are coming from that area okay so suppose for a aries lagna let me give an example mars was red, uh, transiting in the 10th house of capricorn so where it is in digbal and it is also exalted so you might have felt that the frustration is coming from the area of career and because it's your ascendant lord so it will affect your whole life okay but now mars has entered the sign of aquarius 
in the nakshatra dhanishth again so now what will happen is aries people and scorpio people it's like saying mars has come down from its sign of exaltation into the sign of aquarius so that can give you a bit of jerk jerk in the sense that suddenly not for these two ascendants for any all all the ascendants suddenly you can feel the areas which mars is ruling in your chart and to be very honest you would have started feeling this after mid of october around that those houses are now going into background should i repeat they are going into background you might might have you might have felt this at least i have felt it so whichever houses mars is ruling in your chart now suddenly we'll feel that you don't need to give too much attention there <laughs> yes because now the exaltation is not there you see now it will depend on your dasha and whatever whatever uh, the entire horoscope if there are any planets in capricorn or aquarius that will intensify this but in general i am saying but the good thing is now it is not conjunct ketu although it it was very far degreeally but still it was conjunct ketu yes in the sign and now when it has entered aquarius it is very far from ketu so you can say that almost 99% not 100% the conjunction is not valid anymore mars is out of the rahu ketu axis finally so to be very honest now what will happen is the areas which mars is ruling in your chart you will feel there is a sense of relief and you will tell yourself that you don't need to hurry regarding those areas because when mars is exalted we have a tendency to like go for it hit hit it hard yes but now when it goes to aquarius you will try to incorporate your beliefs with the beliefs of the society when mars is in capricorn it can happen that you are only doing what you want depending on which house mars is ruling in your chart but when it goes to aquarius it can happen there's one uh, positive side to it that you can now feel that now i know what to do but there is the society also there are other people what can be good for the society how can i incorporate the desires of other people also within within this area okay those things you will try to balance basically balance not that you will try to compromise but you will you will be more in, uh, you will be more inclusive mars in capricorn can sometimes become very exclusivist where it can think that oh i need something i will do it and i will get it all right and that's to be honest very good for mars but in aquarius there is another plus side to it and the negative side is that you might feel that somewhere in the midst of satisfying everybody else or not everybody else the society and the principles in general you might feel that i have somewhere lost my desire <laughs> okay so that that can happen so now you see whichever house mars is ruling in your chart you will try to see what others also feel regarding that area and you will take their suggestion into account all right that will happen and yes jupiter has finally moved to the nakshatra of anuradha where it will be there till december some there's a date till december third week or fourth week near about till that time i guess or maybe it's a bit later also i don't know the exact date still when it will be in anuradha but it's going very fast and it is also going to enter sagittarius after some time of course then it's going to get retrograde so some of you are asking me that when how to uh, check the dates when the planets will go into which nakshatra so i will post a link to the drikpanchang.com you can see that okay automatically till when vishakha uh, till when jupiter is in the nakshatra of anuradha and then when it's in jeshta when it will go to sag so from long time long 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 time jupiter had been in vishakha nakshatra so whichever houses jupiter has been ruling in your chart depending on your ascendant you might have felt that you need to take a leap from an existing situation in your life but due to some reason you are not able you are not able to take that leap because your existing situation seems very tempting because vishakha is like two branches so what can happen is you are simultaneously trying to walk on two boats put your one feet on this board one feet on that board and then what happens you don't go anywhere <laughs> 
सो वेन जुपिटर एंटर द फोर्थ पादा ऑफ विशाखा विच इज़ इन द साइन ऑफ स्कॉर्पियो यू माइट हैव फेल्ट विच वॉज फ्रॉम अराउंड ऑक्टोबर इलेवेंथ वेन इट हैड एंटर स्कॉर्पियो फोर्थ पादा ऑफ विशाखा नियर अबाउट दैट टाइम आफ्टर दैट यू मस्ट हैव फेल्ट दैट नाउ इज द टाइम आई हैव टू लेट गो ऑफ दिस डुअलिटी एंड यू माइट हैव रियलाइज दैट आई डोंट नीड टू बी इन टू प्लेसेस दैट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सो दिस डिलेमा इज नॉट देर एनी मोर वेन जुपिटर एंटर्स अन राधा यू विल बी क्लियरली एबल टू सी वेर एक्चुअली इज द प्रॉब्लम बिकॉज सी समटाइम्स वॉट हैपन्स इज वेन वी आर फोकस्ड ऑन टू थिंग्स देर कैन बी समथिंग एल्स विच वी एक्चुअली नीड टू फोकस ऑन एंड वी आर नॉट फोकसिंग देर बिकॉज वी आर सींग हियर वी आर सींग देर बट समटाइम्स वी नीड टू सी स्ट्रेट सो वेन जुपिटर एंटर्स अन राधा चेक द लॉर्डशिप्स डिपेंडिंग ऑन यू आर सेंडेड नाउ यू विल फील दैट now there is one pin pointed focus and you can devote yourself to this goal and you will be able to see what actually is there where you need to go the lo- the destination will be very clear the process will become clear eventually because now it has just entered on rather so be bit patient don't just hurry and don't just rush things will become clear but at least now you have understood that i cannot stay by i cannot stay here by doing the same things which i was doing earlier now you will come out of your comfort zone that's going to happen because in vishaka what happens is you are here and you know you have to go here but it's like oh i still like this place i don't want to go here but when anuradha comes you will be forced to go here so there is there's some deep realization which you would have had from last one week to 10 days when jupiter had entered on radha depending on the houses which jupiter is ruling okay so jupiter suppose it rules your 7th house then some realization about your marriage you would have felt that it's not going to work if it goes this way or that way we need to take this path okay but again that will that will depend on the whole chart and what's happening if there are existing planets in anuradha or in vishakha all right so then the big thing is saturn 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 is finally in the uh, date of november 27th or 28th i guess it is going to enter purvashada and yes by the way i have made videos on Mar- transit of mars individually transit of jupiter into anuradha and transit of saturn into purvashada okay so i made those videos so if you have not watched it then go and watch in my channel you can just type these nakshatras you can type purvashada you can type dhanishtha and you can type anuradha you will see or you can go to my channel in the last uh, around uh, 10 days 15 days i posted these videos you can see and saturn is finally still in mula it has not yet crossed it's in the fourth pada of mula nakshatra till november 27 28 depending on the place where you are and then it will enter purvashada now this is a big thing actually because from 26 january saturn has still till now it's almost 2 years has been in the nakshatra of mula it went to purvashada but then last year it went to scorpio also so it's like a crazy time so this the after november there is a big change or i would say there's a big relief for capricorn and aquarius ascendants so if you are capricorn or aquarius you are watching this video on 7th and 27th so you have 3 weeks 21 days all right so these 3 weeks are very fundamental for your life because again saturn will come to mula after 20 30 years god knows when so now your lagna lord is transiting in mula all right so it is a phenomenal time to build the roots if you have still not built okay because mula nakshatra shows foundations so when your lagnesh is transiting in a mula nakshatra like mula you are trying to build the roots so deep that your whole life gets anchored around that and if saturn is your seventh lord then something to do with marriage and as soon as it enters purvashada you will see that see 
what happens when you plant a, a new tree what happens you are planting your first you uproot things okay so the uprooting is finished now you are planting and when you plant you put the seed and then you put water and then what you do you declare that the tree is now planted but the thing is it doesn't stop there so when the tree is planted you have to water it regularly that's what you do in purvashada so when saturn enters purvashada you will see you will be very committedly working towards the areas which you have been focusing from the last two years depending on the houses which saturn rules in your chart if saturn is your fourth lord then something to do with education if it's your 10th lord then something to do with career yes for taurus and for aries it rules the 10th house we all know so something to do with career you are trying 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 and you have there's lots of change which has happened aries and taurus ascendants i know this some of my friends are there and some other people have also told me that they have given up careers which they don't want to do and they are planning to start things which they always wanted to start okay so that's going to be quite beneficial for these two so purvashada is related to upper which is water so there we nourish and it, it is also the nakshatra of purification and meditation so if saturn is your trinal lord okay which means if it rules your first fifth or ninth houses now it is a very good time to do meditation because now when you are doing meditation you will be able to see things clearly because when saturn transits mula nakshatra depending on the houses which saturn is ruling in your chart there can be so much focus on the roots that you have forgotten the broad picture that it is ultimately linked with the entire cosmic energy the entire universe sometimes that's the problem with mula nakshatra that they get so much focused in one thing that they fo forget the other things and swati is like the opposite they focus too much outside that they don't know what is inside <laughs> but when you are in purva shada then you will develop faith because purva shada is the nakshatra of faith the trait of sagittarius the most important trait which is faith comes from the nakshatra of purva shada and mula nakshatra gives you beliefs yes your core is mula nakshatra that is what they say na that is why they say that you are made up of your core yes and then your core is there which is mula and then purva shada is your beliefs Be based on the core you have your beliefs okay this is my core so according to me this is right this is wrong this is good this is bad but for that you must have a base right base of the scriptures the knowledge so mula nakshatra is where you build your foundation of character and then your character itself is purva shada so if purva shada is afflicted if there is a malefic in purva shada and it is afflicted by some other malefics then the person can have issues with their character all right that can happen so now when saturn moves you will feel that you are able to meditate properly and you will continue watering the areas which you just planted okay so rahu and ketu they will still be in the sign of cancer and capricorn <laughs> ketu will be sitting there alone <laughs> and yes till the mid of uh, november sun will be in the sign of libra in its debilitation okay so there can be some issues with vitality and all these stuff for people in general there can be lot of diseases which come up because of air because when sun gets debilitated and that which gets debilitated in an air sign so our body can suffer from air diseases yes like cough and all these issues tonsil problems can come right and then finally the big thing is venus <laughs> will go direct my god this i should have said in the beginning but i am saying this now yes venus will be retrograde till around november 14th or 15th and then it will go direct in the sign of libra it is still in libra itself it has not gone to virgo okay so when venus goes retrograde 
relationships i've also made a video on this i've made two videos in fact so if you have not watched it just type venus retrograde in my channel you can watch it so in fact there are things like if there's a relationship which you currently have with somebody which is actually not supposed to work or which is not going to work then that relationship will fail because when a planet is retrograde what happens is it's closer to the earth and the energy gets so intense that you cannot avoid the problems that is why there are breakups when there is venus retrograde actually the relationship is not breaking during that time breakup is what basically the breakup or divorce it's like the final outcome it's like the extreme point it's like the pinnacle of your relationship right either you get married or there's a breakup so marriage is like yes we will be committed breakup is like no we can't stay together so during venus retrograde these things can happen because and if that is happening that means that is good for you you are not supposed to have that relationship at first place because of some immaturity or because you had this conceptions that unless i go into that relationship it will not make me happy yes and that's what i said that during venus retrograde you will always get a word there will be a word inside which will be asking you always are you happy yourself without the partner if you do not have activities which give you fulfillment in your own life then venus retrograde can be difficult okay apart from that if there are activities which you do and which give you fulfillment in life because of which you are happy inside internally as a person then i don't think there's any problem or there's any thing to fear in venus retrogrades okay and your ex lovers can contact you during venus retrograde but from 15th it is going to go direct and whichever houses plan the planet venus rules in your chart suppose you are a uh, capricorn ascendant then venus is your fifth lord and your 10th lord it's the okar or aquarius fourth and ninth lord so for and then for libra and taurus is the lagnesh itself so for these ascendants these four ascendants a new cycle in your life is starting because venus is ruling very important houses for these four so you will see that now your life is changing to a new direction especially libra and taurus ascendants okay there's some very deep thing which you are wanting to do but you are not able to do when venus is at okay when it goes direct you will be able to do it okay and apart from that which is the planet even oh yes mercury and jupiter are conjunct in the sign of scorpio we have already done a video with vanita lenga ji vanita lenga ji and uh, yes uh, we had done it long back i guess around 20 21 days so you can watch that video also for each and every ascendant so whenever jupiter mercury gets conjunct in transit there is a lot of talk which happens there is a lot of discussion which happens in the society related to that zodiac sign pertaining to the house where this is it, this is happening in your chart okay so suppose you are a capricorn lagna then this will happen in your 11th house okay so and if you are scorpio lagna then jupiter mercury both are obtaining directional strength in your lagna fantastic this is so whichever house scorpio is falling on 17th or 16th mercury is again going retrograde okay so whichever house scorpio is feeling uh, is falling in your chart depending on your ascendant you can see that there is something after 17 november i am saying okay there is something you want to say there but then you end up saying something else so especially if this is happening in your money houses 2 6 10 and 11 you need to be a bit cautious regarding finances after 17th okay so wait till mercury goes direct so till the time mercury is retrograde avoid taking major financial decisions if scorpio falls in your second 6th 10th and 11th houses provided if you can avoid if you cannot avoid that's perfectly fine okay i'm saying like some big decisions like you are planning to invest 1 million dollar somewhere or something like this i'm saying if you are like oh i have to just invest 10 dollars or 20 dollars it doesn't matter okay or some big decision related to education if you are planning to take try to avoid it during this retrograde why i am saying is because it is the sign of scorpio you will expect something and something else comes out 
past karma and all these things can happen and during market retrograde you will see that for for some reason your old friends and your acquaintances will contact you that will happen you will meet that 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 has to happen somebody who you have not met from long time you will meet them now it it has to happen or there can be problem with your gadgets or you send a mail but you do not write the subject so the question is first write the mail then you write the subject then you write this to send to whom because generally in market retrograde there is a tendency we will write send to xyz at yahoo.com then we will write the body and then no subject it always happens during market retrograde or it can happen that you you apply to a company for a job and then that company say, says to you that oh we are accepting you for interview please give us a date and then after one day after two days they can tell you that oh actually we sent that mail to you by mistake all right and when you are signing documents please be careful read the terms and con conditions properly if you are going to print any document cross check it 10 times if you are booking tickets cross check it 10 times the departure and the arrival date 10 times i am saying cross check it because when i had taken my degree certificate of masters from gottingen university in 26 july uh, sorry 26 yeah july i got the provisional that was the day when mercury was retrograde and in my certificate the lady had by mistake written india india twice my residence <laughs> so then she said that we can only correct this after one month which is august 26 27 when i finally ended up getting my degree near about august 20 or august 18 or around that time so you see so much delay is there or it can happen your bus is delayed your train is delayed or they say that your train is coming in platform number six but it's coming in platform number eight and suddenly they announce oh actually you know there's a mistake the plat train is in a different platform so all these things can happen all right so that is what i would say november is the month where a lot of dynamics they're existing simultaneously but because the nakshatras of jupiter and saturn are changing into much more refined nakshatras the confusion will clear okay and that is all i would say if you like this video click the thumbs up and share it with somebody who is interested to know what's going to happen in the month of november and apart from that if you want a consultation then please go to my website you will find the link to my website in the description section of my videos below okay god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him until next time yes and once again happy diwali enjoy good night bye bye see you